Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and uh, here we are. I have a lot of stuff to craft today. I'd been hearing zombies over there for a while, and I got irritated and decided to try and figure it out, and I found a zombie spawner. And I went exploring to try and find a cave that was decently far away, hit another mine shaft, and found a skelly spawner, so that's always handy. So... I, before we start, I have a diamond chest here. I had to upgrade because I ran out of space. Because I went mining. And I made that diamond pick we had in here into a fortune pick using that book that we had. And as you can see, I've used it a decent amount. And the result of that is this chest is full. Completely full. So, yeah. I got three diamonds and a solenoid on me. But first, I want to start making some of the things. This is how you make the LV capacitor. I tried looking it up on their website for the recipes, and the image was broken for IC2. So I said, you know what? The MV capacitor and the HV capacitor are almost identical in recipe. So, by process of deducing things, I figured this was probably made this way. And I tried it, and as you can see, it worked. So we need one of these, and we need two of these, which is just a machine block, solenoids, and electronic circuits, like so. Now, we'll just use those right now, which, by the way, well, I'm going to get into something earlier, but, uh, earlier, later, but, uh, this will give us the melee assist. I don't need carry through, that'll be knockback. Because you see, it shows knockback there. And I don't really need that. I do, however, that's actually a surprisingly low amount of jewels for such an action. 110 jewels to do... It says 10 points of damage, but I don't know if that's 10 hearts of damage. Or if that's 10 points of damage. But uh, I've overclocked the shovel, axe, and pick to use 500 jewels. Because uh, with the 500,000 in it, which we're going to change by the way. And I'll get to that in a minute. Okay, that's those two dudes out of the way. Now, my original plan was to make four of these... Then four of these, right? However, there's one slight thing that I noticed. These at a base value of 750, ignore the 1 million EU listed there, it's 750 when you put it in a piece of the power suit, which I crafted the whole thing, it's right here. It gives 750 power each. You have five of them, that's 3.75. And it's 10 kilograms. However, if you have just one, like so, so let's make an HV capacitor, which I have, I was right, um, I don't even need batteries in other things, so long as I have a battery in one thing and it has power, everything else will, will, will work. But anyhow, I'm going to put this HV capacitor in the chest piece. Now you see, it holds 750 kilojoules, and it weighs 2 kilograms. Now if I had 5 of these, that'd be 3.75 million kilojoules, and it would weigh 10 kilograms. But if you have one of them, and you turn it up, look how much it holds, and how much weight. Now I'm not going to bother with that at just this second. So we're gonna just leave him like that. So I need, I actually want to take the one that's out of my weapony thing. Right. Hologram emitters. So these things are used for cosmetic reasons on the armor. I'll show you what I mean. First of all, I want to hide the helmet. And that is what this does. I'm not sure if I want to hide the armor just yet, and you can make it black, but eh, black is a little bit 
overdone. I might just make the whole suit transparent. Because... You know what? Yeah, I'm just going to do that. Transparent. But as you can tell, there's no cosmetic mods for this because it has a very unique model. Now, I haven't really made any of the things for this. Oh, God. Which, those sprint speeds are just completely insane. You can go away. Those guys will sit there and I'll deal with them later. Here's how you make the basic uh, iron-based plating. In order to make four plates, it takes exactly the same amount of iron that it would take to make a, a full set of armor. But there's a little extra, there's a few extra things in it. I'm not sure how much these weigh when applied to armor. Um, let me just take this off. As you can see, the armor is invisible because the thing I put on there. Now, if you watch down above my heart where the armor bar is, when I install one of these armors, currently it's giving zero points and adding zero grams. Oh, God, that's a lot of weight. I'm not going to be able to get too much out of these. Maybe making four of them was a mistake. Yeah, I don't think I can actually get my mass with these to a point where it's entirely worth it to wear. I don't know what would happen if I salvage it. There's, I think, a 90% chance that I'll keep the item and a 10% chance that it'll just disappear. But ideally, I'd like to make these eventually, which can be a pain in the ass. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, wait, no. No, I don't know why I have the liquid in there. But force, force, force field emitter. Yeah. And I need eight of these, so that, that, that's stuff and things. And what the hell? What? I'm guessing that's an uncompleted thing. The uh, advanced plating is kind of spendy. But we're going to, first of all, I wish to salvage this out. Goodbye, sir. The capacitors, I think it said, are always lost. Regardless. And I will take you up to... 5 kilograms, because this is 10. And this is... Basically, I have 25, so I still move at a normal speed, because its calculation is weight of armor divided by... 25 and then that's multiplied onto your run speed and stuff but uh, as you can see I have many millions not many millions but charge this guy up not instant on this one and I'm actually draining power out of this bat box which is disturbing uh Oh, it's not daytime either. That's not helping matters. So, I... The way I actually got a majority of the diamonds is I did fix the turtle. Uh, basically, I just remade a pick and relabeled them and all that. Dug one 8x8 hole, didn't get any diamonds, and then tunneled until I found some. Speaking of diamonds... I can do the diamond drill upgrade. It's just a solenoid and three diamonds. And now I can mine obsidian with the pick part of this device. And I'm not sure how hard it hits, but it currently now functions as a melee weapon, a sword, a pick, an axe, and a shovel. So that's a bit cheaty. So now we move on to the next set of things, which is the Tesseracts. These will allow us to teleport things 
but first you need to fill them. And what are they filled with? Ender. So we're going to trade a stack of iron for a stack of ender pearls, which will get us exactly enough molten ender to make four of these. So this guy can go away now. I used up every project table I had in here setting up those things beforehand. I wonder. Wait, I I forget. Something allows me to alloy furnace. So yeah, they do have to be full durability. So I guess now I have a random set of armor sitting in here. Technically, uh, right now, what I should do is I could just wear, like, iron boots and, like, an iron helmet, since these literally do nothing for me at the moment. Although, I don't know how long that's going to last. I believe the shock absorber needs servo motors. Two of them. Which, I already forgot what it takes. You probably remember it better than I do. What? I thought it said cheating condensed files. I was like, what? So, this isn't cheap. At all. It takes... Oh, that's 24, 25 iron. I guess it is kind of cheap. Because I have a ton of them. Oh, I need two servo motors, don't I? Well, that's a lot of refined iron in one go. Oh, on a tuned tesseract. Yes, I planned that out so I'd have exactly enough ender stuff in order to make these. Now, this is the energy tesseract. This is the conductance coil, which is made with electrum and redstone, silver, lead, and I need two of these. Oh, energy tesseracts. And this is how you make the liquid tesseracts, just the pneumatic servo, which I think I showed before, but just in case. There it is. And tin, silver, and copper. This is the odd copper, and I'm trying to make use of it. So, that will allow us to set up incoming things and outgoing things for both energy and liquid. Now, obviously if I put something in the nether to drain out the liquid, I'm going to need a way to keep it loaded. So this right here is a chunk loader. It's made with an enchanting table, five gold, and an ender pearl. However, I didn't set up a bench for the last thing that I need to make. I will worry about you guys later somehow. Later somehow. In the meantime, put those project tables in there. I've got quite a bit of the sulfur too. Oh, and I didn't show you, did I? But you probably guessed it. It's filled, and those waypoints are kind of a pain, but I covered the entire top, but Endermen are once again slowly stealing blocks away from me. But what are you going to do? Not a whole lot you can do, really. So I need to make a total of six of these? I think so, and then I needed two electronic circuits. I guess I'll worry about that later. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Bam, bam. I'm going to need for redstone. I'm going to need considerably more wire stuff than I have. Okay, so I'm not perfectly prepared, but sue me. That should be enough. Uh, that's not quite enough 
Yeah, I need four more to make the thing. Part of the reason it's doing okay now because I keep throwing lava into it, but oh, if you're wondering where I got all the obsidian for all the different random stuff I've created, I mean, it's pretty simple. You can see, I still have the obsidian selected, but there's no lava in there at the moment. But that is not important. And the diamond chests are not as bad as the gold chests and stuff, because the other material chests, they take eight of a given material around it. But the diamond ones are different. The diamond chest, which I used the upgrade, which basically means I put a gold bar in the middle instead of a chest, and it allowed me to just upgrade it straight in the world, but it only takes two diamonds. And there's an obsidian chest as well, which is right here. This thing, right here. I was like, why would you want an obsidian chest? Went to a creative world, checked it. Same size as a diamond chest. And it's like, okay, why would you do such a thing? And the answer on why you would do such a thing is because the thing is practically unbreakable. Oh, and I went out and killed a couple cows so I could have a little bit of leather because I needed a book for the enchanting table to make the chunk loader. So, yeah. Now, I need things. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I need these things. All right, even though I could have salvaged them from the Lapitronic crystals that I didn't make, but that's relevant. I need four of these things. Okay. That should actually be it right there, I think. I think. I do not know for sure. Yes, I do. And I believe the recipe also called for two wool. Now what am I doing? I can make it right here. If I can click properly. Alright, that's all you wanted. Two wool. With some servos, springs, and padding, you should be able to negate a portion of fall damage. And it currently starts out at zero and zero. And of course, you tweak it. Tweak it, tweak it, tweak it. Ten joules per meter. Which means that if I were to fall ten blocks, it would cost me a thousand power. I think that's per meter. That's what the M is supposed to mean in that situation. Woo, shock absorber and transparent armor. I do have less armor than iron armor at the moment. Which will eventually be resolved with energy shields, but I can't really do anything with that at the moment. But, uh, at least I have diamonds now. I could get started on, uh, the red power stuff pretty easily now. But, I don't think I want to do that at just this very moment. Their question is, what exactly do I want to do at this very moment? Because I don't seem to know. I'll tell you what I need to do. I need to make a pump. Which is made from a mining well and a tank. Tanks are easy enough. This thing's also fairly easy. Screw the industrial craft pump. It doesn't function as you would like it to. So, mining well, I need... An iron pick, so one, two, three. I need an iron gear, so one, two, three, four. Uh, wasn't that convenient? Grab a little bit of stone. I have a little bit here just for easy access. Oh, stone gear. Seem to have miscalculated something. One, two, three, four, five, six. And a piece of redstone. I've been using the fortune on redstone and nickelite as well, which hasn't been helping matters. 
I'm gonna make a dust chest soon, I think, and it's going to contain the uh, thing. Now the mining well is kind of crap. The, th the reason why it's crap is because it literally just digs a one by one block straight down. It's not upgradable. It's crap. I think you actually need one to make the quarry. Oh no, no you don't. You just need a lot of, a lot, just just a lot. But take one mining well and one tank, and you create a pump. Now I'm probably going to want more cells in here just because of the sheer fact that I'm gonna end up filling it up pretty quick but I don't particularly care about that at the moment basically what I'm gonna do is I'll go into the nether right find a decent pool of lava and above it I'll go like this and I will take one energy tesseract one liquid tesseract and the chunk loader and they'll literally be like that and you go in here and you choose a channel number and you can set the name of the frequency which is the energy tesseract so I could just be like main power to help me remember what the frequency is right and then if I were to place another energy tesseract like so I could do that and link them up and you have the ability to change things between send only, receive only, send and receive. So they're quite handy and it's the same exact thing with the liquid tesseracts. So for a second there I thought it disappeared and I was going to be very angry. So I'll just go set that up later. So we'll set those down here for the moment. It'll just be really simple, because at the moment, it'll basically be energy tesseract on the bottom of this that'll be sending power out to the pump. Then I'll leave it controlled by redstone so I can turn it on and off with the lever. So that way, whenever my power's full, I can turn it off at the moment, so I can automate that later. And the liquid tesseract will just have uh, liquidux. These little friends here coming into the magmatic engines to feed them lava. It's pretty simple. I'll show it to you. I'll probably set it up afterwards. Oh, and I got another record. Ward. I love it. And you know what? I'm feeling generous with my diamonds. Let's make a jukebox. Yeah, I can make a computer craft computer and a disk drive, but screw that. I feel better making it with a diamond. Because it makes me feel rich. And there's the anvil I made to do the thing. I tested it in, uh, whatchamadoodle, uh, creative mode to actually check and see if I could put enchants on these. You can, but... Like, I exited creative mode to test it. So I'm not that stupid. But. Well, all those Tesseracts and stuff got moved around. But, uh, let's have some music! Once you get past the intro, it's a very good song, in my opinion. Now, I guess I'm pretty much. I mean, I could make. Oh. God. I would only need to use 100 iron and. <sighs> yeah. So many servo motors. These ion thrusters that are used for the. Uh, the jetpack and the jet boots, which you need both to be able to move forward while flying. But these things are ridiculous. It takes an advanced machine block, which I can't make right now because I don't have the industrial craft compressor. 
an advanced circuit. This is for each one. You need six of these to get both of them. As well as four solenoids apiece. So, they're not cheap. Do I have the materials to do it? I think so. But, uh, let's dark out. Let's just arrest. Burn some power out of the jet pack. Hello, Enderman. So we can get a nice view of the mountain. Yeah, it looks kind of strange, doesn't it? I think it's just this side. It does look like Legos. And I don't remember if I mentioned this, but I have Optifine in, which is why the grass actually covers the sides of the blocks and stuff too. But man, those fucking griefing ass Endermen. Well, if you look at it as if it's made out of Legos, it makes it look so much better. Ow. Wait, I thought I put the shock absorber in. Did I not turn that up? What? Oh, right, I have the chest piece off. Which meant that I didn't have any power, technically. Fun. And the amount of things that are apparently planned for this mod is greatly ridiculous, because there's many, many things. So that's, this is my uh, water source for that. And I'm just making some coal coke because I can. Ignore that connecting there, that does nothing. So, I'm not sure what all I'm going to do now, because I guess I can uh, get started on making some red power stuff. Which means I need to make a diamond handsaw, which requires Two of that, two of that, I need sticks first, and two, three sticks, two iron, two diamonds, voila, diamond handsaw. So now I need sand and coal, another coal, sand, Coal fuel. That'll make me eight silicone bulls, which is well, it's a number. But then I'll need to combine nickelite with silicone at a four to one ratio. However, I'm only going to make three of the four bulls worth of. I don't know. I should be making eight bulls, right? I think so. Well, that's one way to get rid of Nicolite, huh? You done yet? But, uh, once I get this up and going, and with the fortune pick, coal isn't really an issue. I go caving, I come back with a gratuitous amount of coal. And... I guess I'll get... Get these cut. It's just that simple. It takes some durability off, but this thing is... It's diamond. It lasts a while. You need... There's uh, red doped wafers as well. That's just made the same way only with redstone. But it's used in different things. Uh, things that are powered by redstone. Although I'm not sure what that's all about. I think that generates redstone. A redstone signal of something if there's an item passing through it. I think. I can't be sure of that. So, but once I get that stuff going, I can then set up, because I just had temporarily removed the magma crucible and had a hopper there to feed things through, and it would auto smelt and whatnot. But I can set up a either a transposer or a filter 
and it will just fill it up on its own. Are you done? Oh, you are done. No, no. It's up to eight. It will last a while. And this right here is the cool thing about the the red power, like, alloy furnaces. You can literally just do that. And it will make all 64 of those and slowly eat through each of these. So, that's good on that. But by the end of this, I'm going to need more blue alloy ingots. Uh... Well, oh, crap. Start back up. So, here is my plan. I made an entirely new minium stone. Here is my plan in the long run for getting the materials for the floor. I had this thing set up like so. And I need... I need a lava. Just one. Without lava, it won't start going. So that's going to end up filling itself up at the moment. But if I do... That... It will keep filling, and I'll be able to turn these into basalt cobble. Or... I'll smelt these, and these will turn into... Uh, just basalt, like so. Of which I'll be able to put all over the floor... I keep on having mobs spawning on the trees. And as you can tell, I've done quite a number on the ground. I'm not sure if I actually need to replace all of that with cobble. I might, I might not. I'm not sure. But I have enough minium oh, wrong chest for eight more of these. So once I burn through every single one of these minium stones, which isn't going to take all that long, I'm gonna have to go find an actual volcano and harvest it. We could almost make two solar panels, but that's not gonna help us because we haven't made a battery box. Battery box takes blue alloy ingot, three iron, piece of wood, and some batteries. Two batteries. Four batteries? Four batteries. So, 24 nickelite, four tin, and eight copper. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. One, two, three, four. That's 12. Okay. These project tables are a red power thing. I don't know if I've mentioned that before. And that makes them quite handy. Uh, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do about this. I do think I'm going to move the dust, including the lapis. So it'll be lapis, nickelite, redstone, glowstone, and coal. I know coal's not technically a dust, but those will end up in a different chest that I'll put somewhere. Ooh, battery box. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this guy. I think go right about there yeah went on take all those one two three because that's all I have enough for at the moment I'm gonna have to go get more nickelite. Yeah, that's all I got so far now. It's three solar panels. And. They're not particularly amazing. Grr. 
I, I killed one. Now, these count as a slightly higher block. I can't jump up them. And they will slowly fill this up during the day. And I'm gonna need to make blue electric wire at some point, which means I'm gonna need... Oh, well, let me just show you because I'm gonna have to deal with it later. Blue alloy wire. Which takes quite a bit of wool, but I can make the wool out of string, and I can get string from flax. So, that's not exactly hard. And because I have that skeleton spawner, well, I guess the next thing I could make is a soul forge, theoretically. Oh god, five obsidian. I have obsidian, three stone, a corrupted essence, which is simple enough. So I would need a glowstone and a soul sand. I would need to smelt the soul sand. Like so. And then I would... I don't know why I used the bench thingy to do it, but there's that. One, two, three. I guess now is as good a time as any to chest the shock absorber. And I feel like this episode is starting to drag on a bit. Although I think it's only in about 20 minutes, roughly. Based on how I feel how long I've been recording, so. We have time. I have a bucket of water. You know, there's lava over here somewhere. I heard it. The whole time I was building the mountain, I was like, I hear lava. I hear lava. Right around here. Sounds like it's right around in that area. Oh! Ooh. Well, I shall not want for obsidian. Well, that's a bit dark. Is there another layer under this? Oh god, that's gonna take a while. I'm going to mine all of this obsidian, but I'm only going to get the five I need right now. And then I'll get the rest of it off camera and store it in a chest. And I'm just going to leave this eternally open to the world. But I'll get that iron later too, I promise. So yeah, this power tool is quite handy and it might be a little bit cheaty but I mean come on name one thing and feed the beast that wouldn't be considered cheaty I mean doubling most of your materials it's kinda cheaty in and of itself and besides I drained that thing quite quick and it still has yet to recover to what I did to it uh, let's not waste that food I'm going to put this diamond handsaw away because that's not cheap. And normally I make another chest for red powder, so I guess I'll use just this thing at the moment. Put in there, put those in there. I put him in there. I don't worry about those later. Jetpack, you can go in there. Leave me alone. So. Now, three stone, one corrupted essence, five obsidian, and a soul forge we have. And what is the soul forge used for? Well, I placed... No, I was trying to avoid placing things right there because it's a bit in the way. Place it right there. You use... 
So, first of all, we're going to make soul shards, which requires another corrupted essence. Actually, I'm doing something wrong here. Uh, soul shard. Oh, that's tier 5. Eight corrupted essence to make one, or, well, three soul shards from one diamond. So, I need eight soul sand and eight glowstone. And I might end up putting more stuff in this. Like, I'll probably end up making, like, the sprint assist off-camera and stuff and whatnot, and maybe I'll eventually make the energy shields. But when I make the energy shields, I am going to let you guys see that. So, plan is to cover the entire inside of this with basalt. Because that is a red power block, which means that I can cut it to pieces as micro blocks. Which means that I can also put it around the red power piping with ease. Because that's part of the reason of the micro blocks in red power. So, eight corrupted essence, put them in as fuel, and twelve and a half years later, we will end up with three soul shards. At which point, I can then use those soul shards to... Basically, I'll go over there, I'll farm up a bunch of charges on the uh, the shard. I could technically fill three of them at once. And I should make an enchanting table and stuff, but I don't have the leather. I can get the cows over here and make wheat and stuff. And Yeah, I got another potato. So that's always... That's good. I got sick of the corn... But, uh, I guess, I do know I'm going to make at least one shard for these, and you, there's stuff you can do, like you can get a soul stealer enchant that you can put on vile swords, here I'll show you. Now, that vile sword is made from corrupted ingots, which is made from corrupted fragments, which is made from that. Now here's the thing, this, you might be thinking, okay, what good's the Vile Sword, what does it do for you? It allows you to put the Soul Stealer enchantment on it, and what the Soul Stealer enchantment does is it makes it so the number of souls you get from killing something on your, you know, that gets added to your Soul Shard is increased by a number equivalent to uh, the enchantment level. So, Soul Stealer 5 would give you 5 extra souls on top of the one base soul you get from killing something. Vile Swords are the only swords, only melee tool in the game that you can put the Soul Stealer enchant on. But this would also mean that... You, and you can repair them in the Anvil. So, you could essentially have one that's like Sharpness 5 and lasts forever, but... I've got that spawner, and I've got this tool, so I'm probably just going to, like, punch them to death for a while. How are we doing on this thing? Oh, God. So, guess the next order of business while we wait for that. I don't really think I have a next order of business this very second. What? Okay. Here, make as many as you can. Or don't, because you lack coal. My bad. Oops, that is not how that works. Ooh, speaking of things. Yeah, look at that. That is almost full. As for how much that holds, I have no fucking clue.
And eventually, I will use the wire to hook this guy up to that guy. So we'll just move that over there. But I plan to have a giant, like a big door, right? You, you'll notice that I didn't cover all of this in dirt. And that's because I intend to make a frame door right here. I'm going to use probably grass block paneling on the uh, the outside and then on the inside I might use like iron block paneling or something I'm not sure but basically I want to have a big openable and closable door which is part of the reason why this is probably going to move because yeah it's not going to be flush with the mountain but Honestly, I don't need it to be. I just wanted it to look fairly similar so you wouldn't notice it quite m as much from a distance. What am I doing now? And this sulfur goo, it just appears a lot. Oh, yeah. Uh, I suppose we can make some more uh, things. Five solar panels. The only downside to these solar panels is that I don't really have this set up in a way to play nicely with that many of them. Actually, if I remove these, I can place these ones here. As you can see, this fills much quicker now. there. Huh. I'll just blame Enderman and move on. Fucking Enderman. These blue alloy ingots are used in many things and very little things all at once. Okay, that's taking longer than I anticipated. As for the Lapatron crystals, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. You know what? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take all these dudes out. It's going to be some extra electronic circuits, but that'll be fine. Put these guys in here like this. Waste yet another diamond. If you don't know what I'm making already, it'll be okay. So... Right. One diamond. Actually, you should know what I was making, because I made one last episode. But now I need a machine block. Which means I need eight more refined iron. Th this is part of the reason why I don't like industrial crap. There is so much ridiculous amounts of crafting involved just to be there to make things more annoying. At least that's the way I picture it. So you now I have to wait for that, and wait for that. I got these electronic circuits that I can use in engines at some point, I suppose. Or solar panels. Not engines, but machines. But, uh, you know what? It was a terrible idea. One, two, and a another diamond. I have the fortune pick, so I'm not too terribly concerned about making use of diamonds all that much. Which might sound terrible, but it's true. Let's make some glass fiber cable. Six of it. And what this will allow me to do is I will bring this out. Like so, I would just keep the battery box there at the moment, so that way I can... I don't want to lose any power, that's the short version of the story. I believe this will make me one? I need two times insulated. And this is just regular insulated. One, two, three, four. 
Oh, put you back where you belong. One, two, three, four. Two times insulate, insulated, insulated gold cable. Put that around the outside. I'm gonna laugh if I did something completely wrong in this whole schematic. And a machine block. I believe that's all I need in the middle. And MFE. So, what this will do, just put him like that. He's going to drain the power that's in the battery box. And he'll go out here. And I wonder how much it takes to make a... See, these charge pads actually work with this armor. So what I think I might do... Actually, I can use that bat box. I can cannibalize it. I think I might put like a charge pad like right here. So whenever I go in or out of the house, it charges it up. Uh, but I'm going to need an LV transformer. LV transformer. Which is pathetically easy to make. Because this outputs 128 and the static charge pad only accepts 32. I saw that. I have exactly two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three. And we have an LV transformer. Um. Although. How in the bloody hell am I going to set this up? I suppose. You know what, let's go see how much damage this thing does. Hey you. Four hits on a zombie. It's not amazing, but it's not terrible. Oh, did I really just two hit him? Hmm. Oh god. This is a terrible idea. Woo! Yeah, yeah, that was a terrible idea. So it's not like as overpowered as the Nano Saber, which one shot some things and whatnot, but it's good enough at its job. should technically make another chunk loader to put directly in the middle of the base, but I don't know exactly where the middle is. So, that kind of screws that whole idea. Alrighty then. Yep. Get cooking. Oh, I took everything out of here so I can move him out of the way now. Ta da I forgot what I was doing. Oh, I bet my soul shards are done by now. Yep. Yep, they are. So, right back to what I was making. Oh, crap. I can't break the battery box without breaking the world, can I? Because the crescent hammer only works on build craft stuff. As you can see. I can't... I need to make an omni tool wrench, but... Screw it! Did I get it? Okay, good. I can substitute now by doing this. Um. Um. I may have trapped myself. There we go. And that should still get power. It's nighttime and raining. And I don't like the rain. And I don't particularly care about the nighttime at the moment. Now, let's just make sure this is still charging. Very good, very good. Why did this interface just go light gray all of a sudden? Whatever. 
static charge pad. It is a bat box, two electronic circuits, a pressure plate, and two rubber. I have every single one of those things. I don't have the pressure plate, but I have stone. So I essentially have the pressure plate. One bat box. Electronic circuit. One, two. Bam. Static charge pad. Put that there. And I'm not quite sure. That looks like it's connected. Uh. That might be a slight problem. Hello? I was told you would work. Let's try this a different way then. Um, hmm. Well, that could be a problem. Drastic situations require drastic measures. At that distance, and copper cable can hold low voltage, so this should not be a problem. Okay, that did work. However, what the hell am I going to do about the ceiling situation? There. <laughs> Bandage on a bullet wound. Okay, right before we stomp, I kind of covered up my way into the zombie spawner. They're not that far below the surface at all. And technically they are outside. If you see what I mean. So if I just go down right... Is that actually the edge of the spawner right there? I think it is. Yeah, it is. So, if I put a soul shard on the bar, just one, and if I were to go bam, 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 knock out the torches, oh. hey guy, is that three hits? But you'll see now it says I, it's now a zombie shard. These ones are still fine, but this one's a zombie shard. And that is because of the cool thing. As long as it's on your bar, it'll keep gaining charges for every zombie you killed. Look at this. If I ever got into bees, there's steel pants in there too. Ow! But, uh, yeah, basically, I'm already at 37 levels, so I need to do something. I might actually make... No, go find the stronghold. I should put the plasma cannon upgrade on this, just because, but it's kind of expensive. But then let me just light this back up. I'll worry about this later. Lock it off, just in case. But... Yeah, it's up to six. It caps out at a thousand and twenty-four, which I would get in no time at all. But oh god, a creeper would spawn up there, wouldn't it? But uh, next time, I think we're gonna seek out the stronghold in the world. Oh, 
So I'm going to end up going and getting whoops, blaze rods. And we're probably not going to go into the end yet. Uh, but I am going to go there to try and find bookshelves. So, yep. So, uh, I'm going to call that good for now. So, see you guys later. Have a good day.